All right, in this video, I'm going to help you with columns 2 and 3 on page 360. When we multiply like bases, we add the exponents. So this would be x to the 0 power, and then we just multiply the numbers. Negative 3 times negative 4 is a positive 12. Anything to the 0 power is 1. So that's just 1 times 12, answer 12. The next one down is 5. It is 4 a to the 8th over 2 a to the 4th. When we divide like bases, we subtract the exponents. But here we're not subtracting, we're actually dividing the real numbers. So 4 divided by 2 is just 2, and then we subtract the exponents. 4, right? 8 minus 4 is 4. All right, now the next one. I had a chance to copy some of these down when the custodian came in to get the trash out of my room. So it's 2 to the third power, just like regular. 2 to the third is 8. 3 to the third is 3 times 3 times 3. On your colored paper, 27. And then when you have an exponent raised to an exponent, we multiply. So it's x to the 12th. The next one looks like a bit of a hot mess, but I'm just going to go through it one step at a time. I'm going to do 3 to the negative third. There's an invisible 1 right there. So when you have an exponent raised to an exponent, you multiply. So it's 3 to the negative 3. Exponent to exponent, you multiply. So it's r, 6. S, negative 9, and then T to the 0 is 1, so it, it like disappears, gets absorbed into the problem. 3 to the 1st, R to the 1st, S to the 1st. There's 1's on each one of those. And that'll help us with the subtraction, because that's the next step. When we divide like bases, we subtract the exponents. Uh, negative 3 minus 1. 6 minus 1 and negative 9 minus 1. The negatives go to the bottom of the fraction. So it's r to the 5th, s to the 10th. Now 3 is to the 4th power, but it's going to be on the bottom. And 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is 81. So it's over 81. So that's 3 to the 4th on the bottom, or 81. The next one is a fraction. Um, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So there's an invisible 1 out there, so it's 1 times 16. x to the 3rd. So there's an invisible 1 there. And then y over 4y. Then we divide. We divide 16 and 4 just like we would divide 16 and 4. You know, we don't subtract and we actually divide them because it's 16 divided by 4, which is 4. There's no x down there, so it's just x cubed. And then y divided by y is 1. So that's the answer to 14. Okay, the last one in this column is 17. So 17 is 1 over a squared b to the negative third times a squared b to the negative third to the negative 1. All right. Um, when you have an exponent to an exponent, you multiply. So it's going to be a to the negative 2, and then a negative times a negative is positive, so it's b to the third, a squared b to the negative 3. So it's like uh, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator when you like multiply fractions, so that just shifts right across. Now we subtract. Right? When you divide, you subtract the exponents. So it's a to the negative 2 minus 2 is 2 more in the negative whole, so it's negative 4. And then this is a double negative. It's 3 minus a negative 3. 
and then cross the line, change the sign. So it's b to the sixth over a to the fourth. Okay, so now we're going to go to the top of the next column, the last column, which is question number three. All right, question number three. So it's 3x uh, squared y cubed squared. So everything gets squared. I square the 3, 3 times 3, and then an exponent raised to an exponent. And multiply, right, 2 times 2. And then y to the sixth. Uh, that's 3, 6, 12, x to the 5th, y to the 3rd, over 4, x to the negative 1. So again, regular numbers you do regular things to. So it's 12 divided by 4. 12 divided by 4 is just plain old 3. And we subtract the exponents. 5 minus a negative 1. 6. So you have that double negative thing there. It's 5 minus a negative 1. Change the positive, so it's 6. 9. A bunch of m's. m's and n's here. So it's negative 4. m to the second, n to the third. 2 m n. We're going to multiply. There's the ones right there. So when you multiply like bases, you add the exponents, correct? Multiply like bases, add the exponents. But with regular numbers, you do regular things. Negative 4 times 2. This is all multiplication across here. So negative 8. m to the second, m to the first is m to the third, and then n to the fourth. 12. Anything to the zero power is? One, and we're done. Fifteen. Hmm. It's s to the fourth t, and that gets squared, and then s t. And the s and t are to the first power. So you have to always follow the order of operations. So these get squared first, then we multiply uh, like these together. So it's s to the power to a power. And that's a 1 there, so it's just 2 times 1. And that's s to the first, t to the first. And then we just add 9t3. That's number 15. And now, the last one, 18. Uh, r, negative 1 s squared t to the negative 3 over r to the negative 2 s to the 0 t to the first to the negative 1. So everything gets raised to the negative 1. When you multiply, when you have power to a power, you multiply, right? So basically all of these are going to get flipped in sign. So it's negative 1 times negative 1, so it's just r to the first, r to the second, s to the negative 2, and then s to the 0, it's still s to the 0. Flip the sign there, t to the third, t to the negative 1. Then what happens when we divide like bases, right? When we divide like bases, we subtract. So, 1 minus 2 is a negative number, r to the negative 1. Subtract that, s to the negative 2, and then, oh, there's that double negative again, so it's 3 minus a negative 1. Alright, then the two negatives go to the bottom, but the t to the fourth stays on the top. r, s squared. And there you go. That's all the problems. Turn it in.